Will. Will! No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. Supposed to take William Joyce alive if he doesn't put up a fight. Please, let me go. I can shut the hell up. But just shut the fuck up, all right? Boss said to take him to the ladder. Wants to deal with this with this first person. Will. Gotta get to the library. That's where they're taking you. Gotta keep moving, Jack. Dragging this, this asshole to the library? library? Airlift's already initiated. It should, should be gone by now. The time machine. You taking the time, time machine? machine? Hey, hey. I said no talk. 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 <sighs> what? You still had no idea that Wilder was helping you? She wasn't the only one. Taken care of. You heard the big guy. Contingency plan is in effect. We finish what we started and we reconvene at the dry docks. Simple as that. We got problems? Clear! Friendly can't move!
Okay, gotta get to the library. No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. Why are you taking me here? It's a library. I need to return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. Over. Will. They took him to the library. I gotta find a way in. I gotta get to him fast. Gotta be another way in. Where did that come from? Take a way up. Come on, I don't have time for this. Gotta slow that thing down somehow. Is ready to blow. Now? Uh, 
batch of messed up shit I need you to explain. Get me out of here first. We have to hurry. Where's my car? I didn't like the color. Let's get a new one. What? No, Jack. I need the... <clears throat> Hold that thought. My briefcase was in that car. I'll take you shopping. It's a fucking briefcase. A briefcase is something I need in order to stop the fracture. And you didn't think to spell that out to me before. I was really busy getting kidnapped. Yeah, well, it's not too late to leave you here. How the hell are you staying alive? That's part of the mess up shit I need to explain. You got any theories about being able to manipulate time? No. It's time to come up with one. They wanted to take us alive. I think they changed their minds. briefcase. Then we find Beth Wilder. Why? Who is she? She knows about the fracture. I trust her. Glad you trusted somebody. It's not that simple, Jack. I kept secrets from you to keep you safe. Safe? Look around you, Will. Does this feel safe to you? This isn't my fault. Beth warned me this would happen. I did everything in my power to stop it. But you never told me any of this. I couldn't just... How long have you known? We don't have time for this now, Jack. We have to get to that briefcase. Let's move before more of them show up. Jack! Paul? 
Jack, we gotta go. Hold on. I'm sorry, Jack. No! Paul, what happened to you? What are you doing? Only what's necessary. Think about this. You don't know what's at stake. I know exactly what's at stake. That's why I'm here. You believe you can stop what's coming? I'm giving you one chance to change your mind. This path, it's already said it can't be changed. The past, the future, uh, uh, I've seen it. I've lived it for 17 years. 17 years. It was you, the first experiment. Come with me and we can see this through. Or hold on to your hope and burn with it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. You can't. This is madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. I'll never stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. But we don't have years. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> Trigger. I never wanted this. My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission. Never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice. Because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now, I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear... The public third... will start asking questions, potentially turn on Monarch. Alternatively, I could mount a broad clear, PR sir. strategy, get the city on our side. But that leaves us with the... The loose ends. Precisely. Mr. Serene? The choice is yours, but keep in mind, the men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. I suggest we deal with the issue at hand. Liam Burke over there can explain the situation in more detail. Of course. How long until the Corps is ready for transport? It'll be en route to Monarch headquarters in less than an hour. Installation should be complete before the gala. Good. Jack would never understand the necessity of what I'd done. It wasn't the death William deserved. 
but his knowledge posed too great a risk to our plan. Paul, the men are waiting for your input. It was the first time I'd visited the Ground Zero operation in ages. The location I'd arrived in when I went 17 years back in time. The location where my fate was sealed six years ago. We had Jack in custody, but I was starting to witness visions from the future which made it clear that could change very soon. Serene brought down the whole building just to take out that geek. Stone cold, man. <laughs> Talk about making a point. Shh, he's listening. Sir. Who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. decision on how to proceed with the witnesses. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses, it would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on him, bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. Initialize a PR campaign. I want to stay. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, nobody's sneaking around down there. Hey, I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk. Keep eyes on them and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. There's no other way out. Going through the machine. Oh, wait. No! 
Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time.